Hello and welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, the never-ending quest to find someone who will meet with me outside of a podcast mm-hmm. studio we'll get there. and we'll share a bowl it. of soup. Everyone in here, have you noticed this? Everybody in here talks a good game. Yeah. yeah. But not much happens outside the podcast studio. No. And the times that I reach out, well, let's just say I don't hear much back. Really? There have been a couple times where you've actually had a thing with the guest like, oh, I'm really going to talk to you we're going to go out to dinner and that kind of thing and th- those have not happened yeah exactly oh. and I, that's something i learned in the old late night game years and years ago i'd get fooled because they'd come out you know would welcome the guest and the guest would come out the star would come out and they'd lock eyes with me and smile and embrace me and sit and hang on every word and those are all the cues that you get in high school when someone really mm. likes you mm. yeah. but I'm in a fake environment. Yeah. Uh, and so afterwards, I'd think, you know, who really likes me? Yeah. Harrison Ford. Oh, <laughs> that's thinks, gotta be tough. He thinks I'm the bee's knees. Oh. He hung on every word. And then later on, when I see him squeezing avocados at a Ralph's, oh. and I jump out and say, it's me, your old buddy, <laughs> and hug him, <laughs> suddenly I'm getting karate chopped in the throat right. by a rugged leading man. Oh, man. He's that's great. not right. Oh. No. Now, some people have said, don't jump out at people and hug right, them. Right, right. Approach quietly yeah. and introduce yourself as a grown-up. But no, yeah. I think the flaw is, uh, is not with me. Well, you said in the very beginning you want to share a bowl of soup. So I think that's problematic, too. Yeah. I don't think you should text people and be like, hey, you want to share a bowl of soup? Something that involves slurping and hunched shoulders. <laughs> and germs going into the same bowl. It's just... I don't know. You gotta, I you gotta get a new approach. Yeah. But why don't you do what everybody else is doing and play pickleball or something? Yeah. You know what? I don't know this pickleball thing. Either. Oh. And I've had people explain it to me. My sister in law is deep. And I know that it's become kind of a mania. Yeah. Everyone's playing pickleball. My only question is, do you have to take off your shirt? What? Why? I saw a photograph somewhere of people playing pickleball and they were all stripped to the waist. What? Oh, Just the fellas. But I thought, well, I, I can't take off. I think that I haven't was been able to hide take the off. pickle. What's that? I think that was hide the pickle. You always go to the same place, you dirty, dirty man. <laughs> I always have to be dressed like in a suit, right? Whatever I play, like oh. a full, like a, a real jock, suit. like yeah. a business suit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't know that. I don't know anything about the game, Me but either. people go nuts for it. Yeah, sweep in the nation. Well, it I sounds t- like a room full of non pickleball players. Yeah, I played going it here. a couple times. I'm sorry. Oh. I mean, I have played it with like my sister in law is really into it, and when you get into it, you get into it i think it's like playing tennis but it's not as much movement and so it feels like you're it, it it's still athletic but it's not like tennis. is it just boomer tennis it might be kind of it's boomer slacker ten- tennis yeah. yeah i think it's tennis but there's no one has to really move and at any moment you can just walk away <laughs> but still insist on getting paid. And it's doubles, usually. <laughs> Wait a minute, I switched topics. <laughs> and it became about the economy. These kids today. Okay. Yeah. This reminds me, and this is just completely random, but you know that Sony used to play dodgeball. Yeah. Back in the day, pre-podcast, um, this is before you met your husband, the wonderful Tack. Mm-hmm. Sona was in a dodgeball league. Mm. Yeah. And the thing I remember the most is every time I asked her, how did it go, she'd say, oh, I got red carded. Yeah, because she was constantly <laughs> losing it I on bet. people, I was. and this is something that I want to explain because people listen to the podcast, and I've had people come up to me and say, "Oh, you know, Sona is such a saint that she puts up with your <laughs> oh, you y- your foolishness." Destroy that right now? No, okay. no, not destroy it. <laughs> but people have this idea that oh, Sona's got a book out that's doing really well, and Sona's this Times and Sona's that. What they don't I'm an author mm, really is New York Times bestseller really a way to tell how a book's doing? Oh, wait. <laughs> It says here it's exactly the way to tell how a book's doing. Okay. It's actually New York Times, which is a watch store in Times Square. <laughs> it's on their bestseller list. Um, no, but she's had all this success, and she's you know she's got her own. You're probably selling foods now, what? you know, oh, on the internet. Yeah. I'm not uh, doing the least amount of work I can. But anyway, people have, don't realize that Sona has a terrible temper, mm. and it just when there you can hear it snap. Had. You had now. Did it go away? It. Be honest. There's very few people that can bring it out of me, and you are one of them. Oh. For the most part, I'm pleasant to everybody else, except 
when like like this I'm just putting a finger up I know. to make a yeah. point I know no. but you do things and you just like press these little buttons okay and you know what to do and it uh and I start to see red but be honest <laughs> would you say that when you would lose your temper this is before this wonderful life that you have now you'd really um I go fucking crazy you go fucking crazy <laughs> and I've I seen never, it ha- like, I've seen got it happen physical. I never got physical. I never like got We've into a fight, about this on but the I've, show. I've yelled at a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. And you know, yeah. But I, I think now I've <clears throat> seen her transform. I haven't seen that side of you uh, in quite a while. I do breathing exercises now. That's mm. serious. I do breathing exercises. And this is for your temper? <laughs> yeah. I Have mean, your what, kids seen it? Have when, they seen mom lose it no, yet? No, no. They, they, I really don't want to lose it in front of them. I, uh, like if I'm on the road and I'm driving and someone cuts me off or like upsets me, I just immediately just start breathing. If someone pisses me off. I've been in the passenger seat with Sona when someone would just slightly cut us off and what she does, what she always says, which is the, the clue that she's been triggered is, really? (laughs) She goes, really? And then she, suddenly, you're Gene Hackman in The French Connection. (laughs) You're driving about 150 miles an hour through 1970s New York, which is strange. Yeah, she actually changes the time space around us. And you're going under that raised subway that's no longer there. And yeah, exactly. And, And we're, she's like, really? And then we're going and I'm with her. A national treasure <laughs> who could be lost at any moment. Oh, God. But anyway, it's uh, it's horrifying. Oh, well, man. don't. But you're not that person anymore. I'm not. But can you admit that you do things sometimes to just rile me up? My guest you... today is a very oh. funny actor and comedian. Nice. Oh, we got to get going. I know, but you do. know you do. Oh. You know you do. Nope, not at all. You know you do. Nope. He's and doing it right maybe now. He's doing it right now. Go. You're maybe doing... a Unleash. little less Gabby Gabby. Oh, right go, now. Sona, go. Unleash. <laughs> go. It's like the Let whole... it out. I mean... Let it out. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> but, oh, oh, maybe uh, you should just... I think the cones is laughing at you. Maybe a little less talky I think the cones is laughing at you. I'm to breathe. Maybe a little less Sona talk. <laughs> That's a breathing exercise? Yeah, I think you're giving birth. You're like a hobo sleeping under an apple tree. <laughs> well, that was a good pie I stole. <laughs> oh, you're the worst. You know that you are the worst. Right. You know that you are. That's okay, though.